Professor Ibrahim Kamunto recalls the moment in 1979 when he and the late General Eli Tumwine would paint the town red after surviving the regime of murder and terror presided by the late President Idi Amin. And he was a young man recruited under Fronasa. And when we were mobilizing the population to accept, to welcome, to embrace what we called Moshi spirit, the spirit of oneness, the spirit of patriotism. Kamuntu, also a former Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, describes General Eli Trumine as an old friend who emerged from the Uganda Liberation Front to join the army and fight for the freedom of Ugandans. Eli was an accomplished, accomplished gentleman, the bull, a breeding bull in my kraal of historical long-horned cattle of Ankole, especially the category of cattle that were left by the Vachwezi. That bull is rare and is in my cows, a breeding bull from Eli Tumine who gave it to me. General Eli Tumine is among the celebrated long-serving members of parliament, representing the army since 1986. His prominent one eye defines a legacy as rich, as honesty as explained by members of parliament. And uh, at one time I remember I had even wanted to take on uh, the title of the father of the house, just as you know, as a practice in the Commonwealth uh, countries, even in uh, the, the House of Commons. He envisaged, in my opinion, a free society where civilian authority reigns supreme. The role of the military is to protect the territorial borders. And I am confident that by the time of his demise, he had achieved his dreams. We will continue to remember him as a person who was committed for the true liberation uh, of, our, of our country, non-compromising, and a person who, was, uh, who has dedicated all his life to see that our country uh, is free uh, from the forces of colonialism. General Tumine's character of openness and straight to the point is also a point worth noticed. He formed an association called Vakuka Anti-Corruption Campaign Africa. So he wanted to, to champion the fight against corruption in the entire Africa. A section of government critics held the late General Tumine, the then Minister for Security, accountable for the loss of lives of about 45 Ugandans during a demonstration in November 18, 2021, which until his death has caused controversial views in the public. It was provoked. And once it is provoked, it is a cause and effect. If you address the effect without... Uh,